Hey YouTube, so I just filmed this Pong or my outlook. Um, if you're interested, you can stay tuned. I know that the gold eyes look a bit crazy with the red lips, but this is how I would wear it, especially if I had like a white dress or a black dress or a black and white dress or another dress that was more on the plain side, maybe even a champagne dress. So if you're interested to see how I got this look, stay tuned. I also have some um, other lip options if you're not into red lips. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, so I already applied primer, foundation, and I already filled in my eyebrows. Um, I was just using a long wearing foundation just because you want it to last all night long. You don't want it to start melting off your face or anything like that or start wearing off. So the first eyeshadow that I'm using is a shimmery champagne color that I just applied. And I'm applying a metallic gold color right next to that. Um, and I'm using a small shader brush for this. That's because my eyes are small and I can be more precise with the shadow when I use a smaller shader brush. And I'm bringing both colors into my crease as well. Now the third color is a um, yellow shimmery gold and I'm placing that right next to the metallic gold. I kind of blend them together um, with my brush but also give them um, space for them to be on the lid by themselves. The last color on the lid is the um, shimmery bronze eyeshadow. Now I'm using a fluffy dome brush and I am applying a matte dark brown eyeshadow. Um, on the corner of my eye and also into my crease, kind of just um, blending it into my crease. And now I'm taking a darker brown just to deepen up the look a bit and blending that um, on the outer V and into my crease as well. Now I changed into a stiff dome brush so that I can make it a little bit more intense with that darker brown. Um, now I'm taking a matte black and a small crease brush and just applying a little bit of the black on my outer lash line and then into my crease with my eyes open that's just going to create a nice little V on my lid and it's going to deepen up the look even further. Now I'm applying that color on the lower lash line just on the outer part just to deepen up my lower lash line as well. Now I'm taking a matte highlight color I'm just finding one that works for me and I'm going to use that to blend out the colors and place that before placing the highlight on, under my um, eyebrow. Now I'm taking the first color I use, a shimmery champagne eyeshadow, and placing that as my highlight. Right now I'm just taking the yellow gold again just to um, make it more intense on my lid. Now I'm lining my eyes with gel eyeliner. I'm using gel eyeliner because it's going to last all day um, and also it's not going to like melt off in your waterline. You know sometimes when you use pencil liner it doesn't last all day and you have to reapply. But gel liner you won't have to do that. That's why I use this option. I'm winging out my liner just a bit just to make it a little intense so that it will show up nicely in pictures and it will be visible. And I'm putting in my waterline right now, but not all the way um, to the tear duct, just uh, three third, one third into my eye line, lash line. Sorry. Now I'm applying mascara. If you want to use um, false lashes, go for it. If you want to use lash extensions, go for that as well. That will just make your look more dramatic and even prettier. And I'm using two um, mascaras. One was just to kind of bring my, my lashes out, the other is to kind of define them. Okay, I picked up translucent powder by accident, but next I'm going to be highlighting, you'll see it in a second. Yes, yeah, so I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer um, for this, and you want to use, I think this is about two to three shades lighter than me. I'm just looking like a tribal queen, just placing it all over, and then I'm going to blend it all the way out with my fingers first, and then with a beauty sponge. Um, and I'm highlighting because it's a special occasion. It makes you look even more, you know, put together, even more, uh, makes you look even more dramatic. I wouldn't do this for every day, but definitely for prom. I'm just dampening the sponge with um, the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. That's what I use to dampen um, my shader brush for my eyeshadows as well. And now I'm blending it all the way out. Just want to make sure there's no harsh lines because when you take pictures, you don't want your um, concealer to look like 
I don't know, it doesn't belong in your face. It wasn't supposed to be blended in perfectly. Right now I'm setting everything with translucent powder. I chose to use translucent powder so that my highlight shows through because I don't have a powder that is lighter than my skin tone just for highlight. But if you have that, you can. I'm just using translucent powder. Right now I'm applying blush. I'm going to use two blushes. First a matte blush and then I'm going to use a shimmer blush over that just to give me an extra glow. And the uh, blush is uh, Rose Da Auto uh, Milani Lake Brush. It's basically rose gold. It's a really pretty glowy blush. Now I am contouring my face with a um, powder darker than my skin tone. I'm doing my cheeks, my, the bridge of my nose, not the bridge of my nose, the sides of my nose, and my temples. All right, now I'm highlighting again with a powder highlighter. Um, it's Elf Candy Cora Blush actually, but it works nicely as a highlight for me. Alright, now I'm doing the first lip color. It is a matte nude lip color. It is um, Fifth Avenue by Jordana. And it's just a nice muted look if you don't want to be overdoing it, quote unquote. <laughs> but um, it's a nice muted look. And you can add a gloss on top just to give it an extra pop. The next color is a color called Mauve by Jordana and it's not matte it has a little bit of sheen to it and it's a pretty like it's a mauve color obviously and um, it's a nice color if you wanted a little pop of color on your lips but nothing too intense and the final lip option I have for you guys is um, a red it's Riri Roo by MAC and it's a nice uh, I would say this is more of a warmer red and it looks nice on my skin tone. If you want to wear a red lip, you could find one that looks great on your skin tone that it complements you. And this is a matte color. It pretty much stays on your lips all night once you apply it correctly. And it would be a nice touch if, like I said before, if you have a pretty plain dress and you want to just make your makeup pop. So this is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy your prom, enjoy your night out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!